stands this gigantic monolith of Carrara marble, a monument to Mussolini himself. The lower portion alone weighs over 300 tons. The stadium will have accommodation for over 100,000, certainly the finest of its kind in the world. Every form of athletic exercise and game is provided for. Mussolini is building a new Rome, but he means to see that the Romans should have health with which to enjoy it. The Stadio Olimpico is the largest sports facility in Rome. It has seating capacity for more than 70,000 people. Perhaps unintuitively, the stadium is mainly used for association football games, particularly by the Roman and Lazio football clubs. Recently, there has been some discussion and even decisions to change its name to Stadio Paolo Rossi. The public discussion and anger m might be a bit hard to understand without understanding the history of the stadium and the state of Italy in general. The stadium wasn't originally called the Stadio Olimpico. The history of the stadium started with a larger sports complex project called Foro Mussolini, which is nowadays known as Foro Italico. This name has been stable since after the end of the war, however the stadium sports complex has been evolving and changing over the years, as well as its name. The first stage of the stadium was constructed between 1927 and 1932. It was called Stadio de Cipressi. The next stage of the construction began in 1937, but it was soon interrupted by the war. The stadium was more or less unusable until 1953 when it was reopened in Estadio de Centemilla to promote its new larger capacity of 100,000 spectators. This is also when the stadium was first associated with football. The spectator capacity was reduced to 65,000 for upcoming 1960 Summer Olympics to make more space at the ground level. This was when the name of the stadium was changed to Estadio Olimpico. Since then the name has been stable and unchanged, but the stadium structures have been have seen a lot of restructuring and seating capacity has been varying at different stages. It is easy to argue that at this point the stadium isn't necessarily dedicated to host Olympic Games anymore, and some people might see it as a reason to rename it once again. So just before the year changed to 2022, the Italian parliament decided that it would be a good idea to rename Stadio Olimpico after Paolo Rossi who is a well-known football player, best known for the 1982 FIFA World Cup title. He died in 2020 on 9th of December. The stadium is owned by the Italian National Olympic Committee that is headquartered in Rome. Technically there should be no problem in changing the name and there is an authority to do so. The decision uh, received some support immediately from President of FIFA, Gianni Infantino, who said all Italians, all Italians in Italy and abroad must support the project and to name the Stadio Olimpico after Rossi. This is the point where the old wounds are, are were reopened and we heard quotes like, no the colonies in, in Rome echoed everywhere. First it sounds bizarre, but uh, it goes straight back to the unification of Italy. While in North some people might express something like the South is poor and uncivilized and Rome wants to control the life in the North and get the tax money. Then in Rome since the unification there has been tension about how the rule of North of, or Pier, Piedmont was brought in and all the positions were filled by them. Now all this might sound a bit far-fetched as Rossi is recognized as a great player in the whole country, but apparently it isn't. The arguments are reflecting the same old tiff as the arguments against and not only regional but actually suggesting that the North is colonizing the South. At this point it's important to note that Rossi was born in the Northern Italy and during his career he never actually played in the team in Rome nor Southern Italy. If you ignore the angry mob in social media, there's also some high-profile politicians who are unhappy for various reasons. Let's see some of those. The councillor of the Sinistra Civica Ecologista, Logista, Alessandro Luparelli. Rossi is a champion, champion that we all carry in our hearts and that deserves to be honored 
but we believe it's more appropriate that his name is associated with sports facilities where he has given the best of his himself, such as that of Turin or Vicenza. If you want to make a proposal to name the Olympic Stadium in Rome after a great sportsman, then let's make sure that the choice falls on a player who has had a strong bond with Rome. Then Enzo Foschi, Deputy Secretary of uh, PD in Lazio, says Rome not even considered and listened to threaten as if it were a, uh, were a colonial city and not the capital of Italy. The councillor for major events in Rome, Alessandro Onorato, says There is no need to change the name of Saudi Olympica. Do you like this colonist approach to Rome? Do you think it's normal that the parliament should decide the name to give the stadium in Rome? At most, the municipality of Rome should take care of it. So this bit is not just about the proposed name, but the fact that the Romans were not even listening in the process. Honorato further stresses out that to him the problem is not Rossi, who is a great figure, but who should decide how to name venues in Rome. Honorato is also suggesting that maybe something should be named after Rossi somewhere where he actually played. What do you think? Um, should the stadium be renamed?